Back to Black is the latest biopic from Hollywood, aka this time round, Studio Canal. And it focuses on a late singer who died in 2011, and that is Amy Winehouse. Full disclosure, before we go any further, I was never a fan of Amy Winehouse, but this biopic, I thought, okay, great, let's see if I can learn anything from it. And I'm still kind of like that. Hi everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video where I'm Mike and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for tuning in once again. Feel free to hit the subscribe button down below if you're brand new or returning and it tells YouTube, hey, I like this guy's content. This is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson and it is written by Matt Greenhalgh. Now this focuses on Amy Winehouse, the singer, and it focuses on a period of time in her life as she starts to get her debut album all the way up until her death. And I'm a little bit torn on this movie because on one hand, with the positives we've got at play here, we've got some really good acting. I've got to give a huge props to Marissa Abella, who portrays Amy Winehouse. She did her own singing throughout the duration of the movie. She spent months to try perfect her voice like Amy Winehouse and that distinct style that Amy Winehouse had. And despite me not being a fan, I can appreciate she was a talented singer and had a really great voice. And I think Marissa portrays that really well. As the movie progresses, I started to feel myself sink more into her performance and the believability factor that I was watching Amy Winehouse on the screen and not someone just portraying her in a stage play. Those feelings eradicated pretty quickly after the first act, which the second and third act give me a satisfying performance and I really thought that she played the part well. We have got accompanying cast members here such as Jack O'Connell who plays Blake, who is the love interest. You've got Eddie uh, Marson who plays Mitch who is Amy Winehouse's dad. We've got Leslie Manville, who plays Cynthia Winehouse, who I've got to say, if I'm going to shout out any of the supporting cast as my favourite, it's probably going to be Leslie Manville, because the relationship with her and Amy, especially as her nan, was absolutely beautiful. It definitely brought a kind of memory back to me and my life when my nan was alive and it was just great you know to spend time with her to see her and just appreciate like the older generation for example and this movie again kind of provides no difference to those feelings that i've just expressed and i was a joy to watch them their relationship is definitely the most developed here although you would think hers and blake's would be which it kind of is but Ultimately, I felt as if the relationship with her nan was the most integral part here as that was really kind of a backbone of Amy Winehouse's foundation and the person who she was because she admired and loved her nan so much, at least in the movie, right? I don't know too much in terms of the real life except from a few things which I'll touch on in my negatives very shortly. But going back to those positives, I think the cinematography is done well. There was some nice nuance of colour at time in darkness. So for example, there's a revelation that happens kind of maybe towards the end of the first act going into the second act, which I didn't know about. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, that, that kind of hit me a little bit. But I love in that dark scene, which has got a brightly lit pink umbrella. Now, of course, not really so much lit. It's a pink umbrella. But the light of that really just kind of contrasts those dark scenes that's at play. And I really enjoyed that. And there's definitely some subtleties throughout where that is the exact same thing. Whether it is the colour of the pub, which is bright red. But again, we've got a dark moment. There's a lot of contrasts. And I think that the cinematography in those moments are captured really well. Throughout, it's a well shot movie. There wasn't a point where I thought, oh, that was a bit rough around the edges. I didn't get those feelings, which is pretty good. And the last positive I've got to have and got to include here is there was times where I thought that this movie was paced okay. There's a lot more solid structure to this, although it is rushed throughout, but compared to the Bob Marley biopic I watched a few months ago, again, as I'm recording this video, 
that felt a little bit schlocky and messy, whereas this one felt a little bit more cohesive, which I really enjoyed. But if I'm going to go into the negatives, which we've got to, there's a lot to say here. This movie ultimately isn't great. Now, what I mean by that is after watching this biopic, I looked on Google, I looked at what did this movie get right? What did this movie get wrong? And it definitely paints a few people better than actually what they were. But going back to what I just said previously about this movie was kind of well paced and at least structured better, but they skim over a lot of stuff pretty quickly. We might get very bare service level material and that's kind of about it. There's portions with certain songs, especially Amy's big hitters. And I would say when I say big hitters, like chart song hits, they're very done askew. Now, what I mean is I wish there was a bit more layer to them. I wish that we got a little bit more time and her going through the lyrics. So when this movie starts and we get one of the biggest songs, we actually see her singing and strumming the guitar, but the lyrics are coming to her head as she is playing. And those moments I really enjoyed. I was like, okay, let us try to tap as the audience, tap into Amy Winehouse's mind and see how she came up with these lyrics, which ultimately created this song that may be well loved and revered by a lot of fans we don't get anywhere far enough near enough of those moments to the point where you ultimately really care I, I didn't there was also a lot of times where this movie has a lot of inaccuracies like so for example it is in the movie shown that amy winehouse gets herself on these hardcore lifestyles i'll put it that way i don't want youtube to tell me off by the way <laughs> however it's been said in interviews that blake was the one who got her into that so i'm just like well why are we hiding this up why are we covering some tracks here why are we not staying more factual to the story that we are given even if you can't cover everything in a two-hour biopic at least give us more factual stuff because in essence if you look at this biopic after reading about this and after watching it i now feel as if i don't know as much as i wanted to learn about this singer who has a really big detailed background. There's a lot of moments, for example, when Amy is drunk, she does something to Blake, and I feel as if that is covered up pretty softly. It's not very expanded upon. As much as it maybe it should be, it kind of paints her in a good light and just being, oh, she's had a moment of being drunk, but actually... That is actually not the case. She does something pretty bad to Blake, despite whatever he's done to her. And you guys will see all of this. I'm, again, I'm kind of limited to what I can say. But the movie kind of paints her out to be, oh, poor Amy, you know. And I just feel like, ugh, you no, know, you've got to take some accountability for your actions. And it feels as if this doesn't really do that so it feels like there's a lot left to be desired by the end of the runtime which i wish this movie expanded upon but it didn't and therefore i'm very torn down the middle obviously with that said you can probably guess what my score is and that is a two and a half out of five stars hope you guys have enjoyed this review and i hope you like this new lighting and setup as well by the way i've just got some brand new lights as of this video and i'm just putting to them to the test so i hope you guys like it but yeah certainly give the video a big thumbs up and like the video certainly helps if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to patreon which is down below memberships from only two pound per month i do want to thank all my awesome patrons for all their support it's really appreciated and really means the world to me so feel free to join today but in the meantime if you haven't seen these videos of mine or you want to do a little bit of a deep dive and see more on the channel click over here check out those videos and until the next time I see you guys, I'll be seeing you later.